My name's Hayley Bell. I'm the founder of Women Riders World Relay. We wanted to start with a bit of background about what we're doing and why we all look like <laughs> right now. <laughs> traveling across the world looking to unite women and showcase what women can do on a motorcycle. You know, we aren't timid, we can ride. Listo, hola. Listo, hola, Karen. Bienvenida. Se le hizo todo lo que es el servicio preventivo. Aquí no, que. Si es esta feta, tiene que llegar a su destino siempre. Estamos de Morelia y nos vamos a Oaxaca para entregarla okay. por allá. Listo para ir a cualquier estado <ríe> que te dirija. <ríe> Cumplir la misión. Exacto. Mi historia quizá es muy común, como la de todas las niñas. Creces en una familia en donde te dicen que. Te tienes que aprender a cocinar para cuando te cases y tengas un esposo y le aprendas a cocinar. Creces con un chip que te va diciendo qué tienes que hacer. El chico con el que fue mi novio hace un tiempo me enseñó a andar en esa motoneta. Esta relación se termina y yo decía, ahora ya no voy a hacer nada porque ya no estoy con él. Son las seis de la mañana. Dormir, si sí quiero dormir. ¿Ya vieron a Samantha? Dame <risa> como tu tancamótico. <risa> ¿En serio? ¡Qué oso! <risa> Desde aquí ya saben cada quien qué grupo le toca para que saliendo de aquí ya vayamos todas en nuestra forma. Sí. Sobre todo, primero, su seguridad. Hay una energía en cada familia que los ancestros van queriendo que los que siguen vayan experimentando y rompiendo ciertos paradigmas. Y creo que llegó Karen a romper todos esos paradigmas. I'm super excited to be a part of the US team carrying the baton. I think people gave me the dream of being a lawyer, but it was never really my dream. You can be great at doing something, but if it's not your passion, you're just wasting time. I am very happy that I'm self-employed. You know, I don't have a big house. That's not wealth to me. Being able to go to the beach on a Wednesday at three o'clock and not have to worry about whether or not I'm taking too long of a lunch, that's wealth. Vegas. <laughs> Within this beautifully hand-carved case is a beautifully hand-carved baton. And we've been through some adventures with this thing, haven't we? We've been through tropical monsoons, we've had bikes down, we've had riders down, we've had tears, we've had laughter, we've had everything in between. Give yourselves a massive round of applause. All right, everyone, let's get ready to go. Got here to get you good? Ready to go. <laughs> Jesus, that just shook my rib cage. Yeah. <laughs>
Grand Junction, Colorado, 102 miles. There's a couple different ways to go. We need fuel stops. Yeah. 22 Road, Grand Junction. Cool. Marsha, are you freezing yet? <laughs> I know. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, baby. Hey, Daddy. How you feeling? Today's one of the mediocre days. Yeah. I wanted to check with you because, you know, I knew that there was still some pending information. Right. This week, Thursday, I should be going for my operation. Okay. So, and that's, to, that's for the lumps that's on your lungs? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you're not in any pain. Are you okay? I love you too, Daddy. I love you too, babe. Bye-bye. Super cool. <laughs> I'm completely doing all the wrong Good morning, ladies. I've got an extra jacket liner if you'd like to use it. <laughs> You know what? I'm just I'm I'm a California girl, so 27 degrees. Yeah, that's that's tough, man. Portia, you're starting out lead. Do you have the baton? I do. Great. So you guys ready to saddle up? Get on the road. It's been touch and go. A lot of conversations while I'm on the bike to my dad, making sure he's okay. I don't know when those conversations are going to end. But if I sit and I ride, now I'm not afraid. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Katie brings us the gift of music. Jerry gives the gift of engineering. Mom gives the gift of food. Mom feeds us. What gift do you bring, Mommy? Uh, give the gift of love. <laughs> it's like a normal mommy. I feel like pain in my nails, I'm a pain in my nails. What? Ah! Caitlin, be late! Going to work, coming home, taking Caitlin, extra murals, coming back, helping Katie with her homework. Okay. Come. I'm always busy. When I was 40, I changed careers, got a degree, started riding a bike. People, because like Tracy, the menopause, what's going on with your acid? I don't care what society thinks. Confident, but if I'm not a good example to Caitlin, and I don't want to be scared of stuff, so fake it. No matter how many women you ride with, riding is a single, solitary action. But when you stop and you get off the bike, that's where it becomes community again. Honest to God, you can leave me. It's all right. No, no, no. We're too Better close. Than me catching up. We're too close to the okay. end, and yeah. we, we're not going to leave you by yourself on a dark road. I got some good music going. We're going to take our time, and we'll get there, OK? I got a cab. I've been trying to get my mom to ride on my bike for the past eight years. Mom would always say, not today, not today. I think my mom is always brave and courageous because she knew we were watching and she didn't want us to be scared of anything. But maybe she was scared, but she just didn't show. Everybody is just holding our fragileness together. 
and we're all trying to be strong for the next person. Most people thought I was an 11-year-old with a simple science fair idea. But I knew that if I could get this to work, I could help to never see another Flint water crisis again.